Ladies and gentlemen, the Tennessee Titans have fired Mike Vrabel as their head coach of the Tennessee Titans. Vrabel led the Tennessee to four consecutive winning seasons after arriving in 2018, but the Titans have experienced back-to-back -back frustrating seasons, finishing multiple games under 500 both times. Remember, they were up three scores against the Chiefs in the playoffs whenever the miraculous run of the Kansas City Chiefs really began. They turn it on, they come back, they win. King Henry then gets a two-year, $40 million deal because he's the one that led their team there. Tannehill was quarterback over Marcus Mariota. He was hot. They were doing it. Then all of a sudden, kind of cold off. Now, is that because the AFC South got so damn dominant potentially? Is that oh. because Ryan Tannehill maybe found his level after some certain things happened? Is it maybe because they had to lose some guys in key spots that they didn't play as good a football? I don't think anybody on earth thinks that Mike Vrabel's a bad, uh, bad coach, but I do know that Schefter told us yesterday that Vrabel was not in on the hiring of the new GM mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. took place about a year ago. So the new GM will be able to get the head coach that he's been looking for, and hopefully Vrabel will be able to get to a place... Yeah! That he, woo, yes, it's a great day of my life. <laughs> God, they fired him too. Yeah. Fired him. They God. fired him. They didn't did part ways. Idiots. They fired Mike Ohio guy, Mike Vrabel, Super Bowl champion, three times Super Bowl champion, Mike Vrabel. Firing means you got to pay him. Yeah, yeah, yeah you do. Idiots. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. You don't fire. You don't fire Mike Vrabel. Yes. So here's the reason why that. Mulleted psycho is so happy right now. We're back. Because there's a lot of conversations around New England. What's Bill Belichick going to do? Is he going to move on? Is he going to stay? There's actually been momentum on both sides. As of late, Bill Belichick staying has been the convo. Uh -huh. But I just watched a documentary series preview about the dynasty. That sure feels like probably the end of Bill Belichick mm. in New England potentially oh, yeah. being yeah. announced on Apple. Yeah. Now, whatever the case, Boston Connors pumped because Vrabes, who obviously has close connections with that New England Patriots organization. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does that. In close connections, I think, is an understatement. He's back. in the ring of honor. Yeah. He's in the Hall of Fame up there. Uh -huh. And you, right now, wow. seemingly are six to midnight about the thought of, oh, a guy who gets New England Patriots football wow. is potentially available. Not just a guy who gets New England Patriots football. A guy who just if Bill we move. if Bill leaves. I mean, this morning we are we are flying back, and I am saying Bill staying. It, it, it's done. They met once, Bill and Bob. There's a chance McDaniel's is coming back. Bill is staying. That that was the conversation around the Patriots yesterday. I, I mean, I'm happier than a pig and shit. I I, I get Bill Belichick coming back. I get Mike Mother Vrabel who from Ohio. Wow, that was good. The Lot guy, of sleep. The guy who you see who this is right here. You see who this guy. Is? This is Ty Law. Okay, All Pro, Hall of Fame corner with the Foxborough Police badge. Foxborough Police right there, but one of the best police forces in the goddamn yes, country. Mm -hmm. Yinzer. Hell yeah. This, this is a super. I don't know if you. You know what? Funny enough, let me Not turn. Not cop. Ty Law. Let me, turn, let me turn this around. You see what that score says back there? Wow. Oh, oh, no. 30, no. 32. Well, if that's not an 29. omen, I don't oh, know. Oh, no, I dropped the helmet. Well, oh, you think that's, oh, if that's an omen, hold on. Let me just, let me just grab that shirt real quick. <laughs> Who drafted Mike Frum? That's right. There's another organization. Yeah, that's, that's a Bill Belichick shirt. So if anything, you know, the shirt falling, maybe that's the omen. Oh, but back, whoa, back to the, whoa, back, back to the, back to the bobblehead, which still bobbles. Uh, 32, 29 right there against Carolina. Yeah. Okay. You know who scored six of those points against Carolina? Who's that? Uh, the Ohio folk, Mike Vrabel. So, yeah, I, I mean, I, I hope this year is fun, boys. I hope this year and last year is fun. I hope you enjoyed the league not being New England's. I hope you enjoyed what it was like to see other teams go on and win. Kansas City, I hope you enjoyed your four-year dynasty because it's done, baby. Mike Vrabel's coming home. He might wear. Okay, so you're 50. out on Bill. I'm not out on Bill. Bill might. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm not out coming on Bill. home. He is coming home. Guess what? There's been a lot of talk about Bill relinquishing GM duties. Ooh. What if he goes full-time GM? What if he says, you know what? Vrabes can coach. I have respect for him. I love Mike Vrabel. He's been through the ringer. He's one of my guys. I drafted him. He packs dips, cigs, Slide. jewels, Slide. Some, pr probably some of Luke Littler's vapes, if <laughs> I had to guess. I, I mean, this is I, I'm not kidding. I, I came into today like, this is going to be a good show. This is going to be slap happy. This is going to be fun. Just like last week after the Rose Bowl, this is this is a new level. This, this isn't. I'm like firing him. That's wild to That's me. Crazy. Yeah, get a chip on his shoulder. Get a think, chip. Go, come go, on, go, get go. a chip on your shoulder, Mike, and come back home. Yeah, it's like I think everybody in football feels like Mike Vrabel is a good 
coach. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think yeah. At college in college, everybody in Ohio right now, state of Ohio, is like, what happened in the Cotton Bowl Classic? Have we beat Michigan in a while? Oh, they're the national champions. We're just a little brother down here, team mm. south. Vrabel needs to come coach Ohio yeah. State Buckeyes. Yeah, probably. There's people in Ohio saying that. Ryan Day, we are fans of. Mm -hmm. I'm just speaking about reality mm -hmm. and just how this goes. There's going to be a lot of humans in a lot of cities that have football teams that are going to be like, thank you, Tennessee Titans, for not only paying him, yeah. but also just giving him the opportunity to talk to him. It's not like a trade or a no. – No, no. Go do whatever the hell you want yeah. for the next however long you want. And Tone Diggs is over there jacked up as well. Well, to quote the great Lee Corso, not so fast, my friend. Okay. okay. Well, if, if Mike Tomlin's thinking about stepping away. Which Glazer reported. Which Glazer you know. reported. Shefty said it's going around some okay. NFL circles. Why not bring Vrabel home to where he started? And he's Bill Cowher reincarnated. Okay. Hmm. That's who he is. Where he started. Listen, this is two different. Yeah. Do you see that? One of these teams is in the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Exactly. Pittsburgh Steelers are in the playoffs. Well, yeah, I, wouldn't be say, I wouldn't be saying it if Glazer and Shefty didn't put ideas in my head. That's True. two towns right there. True. Well, wow. that's two towns talking about Vrabel. Now, mm -hmm. they don't know if either of those jobs are going to be available. Different okay? situation. Yeah, obviously. Yep. Yep. Bill might stay. We have no idea. That might end up hap happening. If it does, who knows? Tomlin might coach for another 100 years, which sure. we all assume, but Jake That'd Glazer awesome. and Tomlin are very tight. They're not. How about like Tepper? Tepper has a yeah. lot of money. Yeah. Second wealthiest owner in all of sports. He's been waiting for an alpha, I think, to tell him to shut up yeah. and stop talking to me about football. True. You just go worry about Bingo. your own thing Bingo. on Mondays. Vrabel would seemingly be that particular character. <laughs> He's going to be highly sought after, D, but this is not normal. I, this, I did, did not, not expect this yeah. on this uh, particular I Tuesday. didn't expect the firing. Maybe no. partner ways, mutually partner ways, did not expect the firing because, like you said, we all – no, he's a good football coach, but uh, we mentioned it, I believe, yesterday um, when Shefty was on the show. When you know Andy Reid, you know he was in Philly for a long time. Uh, Schottenheimer, he got fired. Sometimes you just yeah. need to turn the page. You got a new quarterback, Will Levis. You saw uh, Derrick Henry kind of say his farewell to the team. I already moved on from Tannehill. You got a fairly new GM in there, so now he's going to get his head coach, get you know a fresh voice in there. Uh, so I guess I understand it from that standpoint. Still surprised by the firing, but he will be. Uh, especially if, if Harbaugh's not available in NFL ranks. I think, you know, Variable will probably be in that top slot. I mean, everyone just needs to shut up, okay? <laughs> he, it, what did you say? There's a chance that maybe he wanted GM. Guess what, Mike? Coach, excuse me. Come to New England. You can hire your own GM. We don't care, okay? Bob Kraft, he were just sitting next to him. I assume there's a couple leanovers like, what do you think about coming home? You know, what do you think about hiring your own GM? What do you think about hiring your own? That's tampering. That's crazy. crazy. That, that, that would be a that's, would not that. that's not tampering. That's, that's, that's not tampering. That's not tampering. That's not that's not tampering. What are you eating on Tom Bon Jovi? That's not that's not tampering. That's two friends just just chatting. That's not that's not that's not tampering. That's certainly tampering. I think Tennessee's even saying you put that red jacket on in the middle of the season. Yeah. For another yeah, AFC thing. Oh, well, boo Tennessee. Your poverty franchise. Sorry, it's Mike Vrabel. <laughs> yeah, sorry about it. You are, okay? You are. You guys suck. That's the reality of the situation. Maybe in eight years when your stadium's finished, the new one, because the one that you play in now is a dump, maybe then someone will want to go and coach there, and maybe then you'll win. And, yeah, sure. Tennessee's got their new quarterback and Will Levis. Mm -hmm. I bet they do. And I bet Tennessee feels that way as well. But what do the Patriots have? They have a top three pick in this draft. Hey, and a hundred and what? And, and uh, mm, let me, uh, 120, 110, 115 mil. Once cap, once cap space gets kind of, get, gets gets changed. And also uh, once a few players who are currently in the building probably end up, end up leaving. It doesn't matter. Why are we even talking about the players right now? We should only be talking about Mike Frable, <laughs> coach for the New England Patriots, if Bill Belichick leaves. If Bill Belichick leaves. But from what it seems like, Mike Reese did report at this time Feels like it's a Hail Mary for Bill Belichick to be coming back to New England. So book it. Book, I, I'm ordering my Mike Vrabel. Uh, what, what does he wear? You know what? Let's, he wears that vest. Yeah, yeah. yeah he wears I'm going to order a Mike Vrabel. No, you, you got to order two logs. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah. If you're not no, a couple you know, parts. If you're not ripping yeah. six. Boom. If you're not Boom. ripping six by the end of the show, are you even a Vrabel fan? Tick. Tick. Go get go get six right now. Tick. <laughs> Tick is also a Patriots fan. He will. His smoke name six is Talk. 
No, well, that changes weekend. Yeah, yeah. He, he had a lot of he had a lot of tick moves th- this weekend. <laughs> he pooped in a private plane first time he ever he's ever rode in one of those. He also, funny enough, fell asleep in a private plane. Like the doesn't man, matter. That doesn't Let matter. Let me Who dump cares? in this place. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna sleep here. Thanks for giving me a transportation. Yeah, that doesn't matter. He insulted a, a godfather of college football. Yeah, he did. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, yeah. The king. Yeah, that exactly. Classic tick. Dope. That that's tick, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Nothing matters right, right now. I feel well, so bad for you guys. Well, listen, we got Shane Steichen, so we're a okay. Oh yeah. yeah. Seemingly, the Titans are now staring down an actual rebuild. Yeah, mm-hmm. stadium, um, culture, stadium, blood. roster, what? Mm-hmm. Literally everything. Yes. Which is great news for us. But then I'm reminded quickly that C.J. Stroud is still the quarterback for Houston. Yeah. yeah. Which no is matter. not fun, by the way. After no. talking to him yesterday, nope. He just popped in. Yeah. Literally just popped by. Hey. Didn't want you to be in our building without coming to say hello, both him and the PR guy. It's like, thank you for that. And then as he's talking, every word that's coming out of his mouth, I'm thinking, oh, no. This is terrible news. <laughs> oh, no. Don't ever come on my show again. I don't want to hear anything you're saying right now. I'd like in my head to think that there's a lot of flaws in you because you're leading a team in the same division as the Indianapolis Colts, one in which I've invested. He doesn't have any. Even the clothes that he's wearing. Mm-hmm. Yep. He's wearing his teammates' clothes to put his teammates over whenever he's coming to do a pop in it. It's like everything about him is perfect. But the AFC South's got Anthony Richardson. Well, mm-hmm. hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully for 17 yeah, games. For well, we, don't, we have yeah. no yeah. idea yeah. if he's yeah. going to make it through the season. Yeah. I hope he does. Me too. He had, what, four touchdowns in four games. Oh, electric mm-hmm. fun. He is a guy. If he's C.J. Stroud, Trevor Lawrence, what happened? After he got hurt, like I don't seemingly know. Hurt. one, one like and five down the stretch. In a row. They fired a bunch of guys today. Not I, I, Doug put out a uh, defensive side. Mike, yeah, I Mike think both sides. Yeah, well, Doug knows. You know, like we heard Bill Cowher talk. Bill Cowher's like, sometimes yeah, you, you just got to move on just to change people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Doug Pearson saw the end of that. I was like, all right, we got to have a little bit mojo split. But now this cements Tennessee seemingly in the fourth spot of the AFC South, looking <laughs> ahead. And like, if Vrabel goes on to have success somewhere else, New England. It's going to be the same exact conversation about like when people move on from great quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. It's like, why would you do that whenever we are where we are and what the world's going to look like? But remember, that Tennessee Titans organization did trade A.J. Brown middle of draft night whenever they just paid a quarterback who might not necessarily be the greatest quarterback in the NFL. You take away his best weapon, he goes on to have a historic year somewhere else. So there's been a lot of discourse in that Tennessee Titans organization. Hopefully the future will be better. Hopefully Vrabel will be coaching uh, in a league that is not in the NFL. Uh, But I'm very thankful he is out of the AFC South. 